Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. Let me show you a new feature uh, regarding SharePoint pages. And the feature is a new FAQ um, web part that uses Copilot uh, to create it. So I'm now in the communication site. I'll go to new and I'll just say uh, create a page. Uh, you, you see there's lots of templates. What I'll do is just take a blank one and uh, I can start from scratch. From scratch. Um, so actually I will go to the middle part and I will click here on, um, on the plus. Now, as you can see under AI, there's a FAQ preview web part. I could also look for it and I would find it. It's also new. So let's add it. Now notice that on the right we have some settings and you see the web part actually has like some colorful uh, frame. Um, so we could click get started and actually what it's doing is if I it also I could open it from here. It's looking for some resource. Um, so I have created with Copilot a demo um, document and it's called uh, well-being employee well-being for a new worker okay and what i'll do i can add uh, multiple uh, files then i need to choose the purpose uh, let's click here choose the purpose of the faq to help the ai generate so as you can see here we have an event which talks about events, schedules, and logistics, products. It talks about product some announcement and features and updates, policies for HR, information technologies and compliance, and others. So uh, HR is relevant, employee benefits, so let's keep it like that. About this uh, additional uh, information, I will show you later what it does. Uh, so let's just click start and firstly it will create the categories so as you can see here I have lots of categories that it created what I can do on each one I, I can first uh, arrange them I can go to the three dots I could move it up or down delete it or maybe edit it and I will say uh, advance um, so these are the options uh, I could do and I will once we created the categories let's create or ask the AI to create the questions so now it's creating for each category the questions based on the document that was created so you see for the first uh, category we have one, two, three, four. And as you can see, um, uh, what we can do is arrange it. I could go to the three dots. I could move it up or down, edit the question, and I can even move it to a different category. So instead of being in uh, retirement, let's move it, move it to paid off. And now you see this has moved to paid off. So uh, we're not uh, yet over. By the way, we could add another question here. If I do this and type it um, uh, for help, I could do this and it will add it. Uh, and then we have the next part, which is uh, actually uh, to draft after we have the category in question, we can draft the answer. So now it will uh, draft and add, you see for each question, it will add based on uh, the AI, the co-pilot, it will add um, answers uh, for each question. Now, uh, to be honest, you could go to OneDrive or Word or something and just say, create a FAQ for me. But here is actually it's creating it already directly in a SharePoint page. And um, so it's really nice. 
Now, uh, notice actually that it has completed. And if I, I can delete it, or I can actually uh, go back to previous step, or just click on uh, create. And what what we see now, now we have, we have the freedom to edit any of these questions, categories, or answers. Uh, you could add a new answer. You can create a new category. Uh, let's say demo and um, yeah you can uh, continue doing it by yourself notice that instead of currently we have the chevron icon we can change it here with the setting on the right to uh, plus and minus so this is a plus and minus one and we could change it back to a chevron like an arrow uh, which is nice. Um, and of, of course, once you're here, you can take the text and within the text web, web part, you could use the color palette and either auto rewrite or make it more uh, professional or shorter. Or you can type here, uh, write, write it better and it will rewrite but this is uh, actually not part of the FAQ it's just like you could do it on any um, text box uh, so I, we got here some recommendation I could copy and paste it or replace it um, now if you remember let's change it back to a chevron and look how many, many questions and uh, categories we have here uh, unfortunately, first of all, um, I hope uh, it will be able, we could define what would the default be, if it will be open cask uh, or not. Um, but currently, uh, as you see, maybe if you close it, uh, you cannot control this. But if you noticed, actually, uh, there's lots of categories and you remember I could give you some uh, instructions. So um, maybe we'll just create a new page. And this time I will say um, create only three categories. So I'll just uh, go out of this or save it or do something uh, different. And this time I will actually um, ask it to give more specific uh, possibilities. And uh, yeah, just let's just close this and create a new page. Yeah, it's taking time. I need, of course, a, a title. So it's demo and let's just close and save. And uh, let's create just actually a new page blank page and this time I will add the web part and I will add the reference it's a different uh, file actually so let's just, just look for the right one yeah here it is let's put the purpose and this time I'll say make only three category so um, sorry for the typo there but uh, what you can see here um, so this other details uh, AI actually gave more specific instead of creating 10 it created only three maybe if I would uh, let's go and add it again uh, make three character go me um, yeah what what will I do uh, I I need uh, again to reference here and put the well being being where we will Here we are, 
And um, actually, yeah, this is what it's the first overview of mine, and maybe you will have uh, other ideas. So hopefully you like it. Uh, and one last thing is actually that um, I will check later as uh, it's possible to in each section to de define on the page if it will be uh, shown or not. So uh, this is an idea also to, to check in future. So thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.